Is it improving safety and health for both the business community and Grand Rapids homeless population or kicking someone while they're down? That's where the lines were drawn between business owners and others who claim the Grand Rapids Chamber of Commerce is trying to make homelessness a crime. The organization suggested a new set of ordinances aimed at dealing with the homeless population. News H. Jolifergy has details now on that debate. My husband and I own Lamacro. It began last week with a letter to the city commission from the Chamber of Commerce on the problems caused by the city's homeless population and businesses showing up at last week's commission meeting describing some of the challenges they face. Gunshots, street fights, constant stolen tip jars, being threatened, yelled at, sworn at, and many other things. The chamber asking for new rules, like not letting anyone sit or sleep in certain public spaces when there's room at local shelters, setting zones where panhandling can happen, along with cracking down on aggressive panhandling. A host of business and healthcare leaders, even homeless advocates who signed on to the chamber's letter to the commission, say it's a matter of public health and safety for all involved. But critics claim the chamber's suggestions amount to criminalizing homelessness including members of the Grand Rapids City Commission's Public Safety Committee. We have not seen the kind of necessary investments uh, in this segment of our community uh, from the city of Grand Rapids, and that's a failure on our part, and to take then and move towards uh, even considering ordinances that would further penalize those community members, I think is uh, an outrage. City officials say there are already several rules on the books to deal with many of those issues, but they admit they eased up on enforcing them during the pandemic to reduce COVID exposure. And more recently, police staffing has led to delayed responses to those complaints. Mayor Rosalind Bliss says there are other ways to address the issues. What are we currently doing to support individuals who are unhoused? How we're connecting with other resources? Where are the gaps that currently exist? Uh, you know, what is our current response to uh, both crime and complaints citywide, not just downtown? Chamber officials agree those other things need to happen as well. They say they don't consider the decision not to adopt the new ordinances a loss. They do say they accomplished another goal to get people talking about the issue. It's caused a great conversation. I think we're ready to stand with them in partnership to continue to address these issues. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.